All right, what is up, people? Good morning. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, we have a new haircut here. Ha <laughs> ha! It's looking real nice. It feels really nice. Uh, this is definitely the shortest I've ever had my hair in probably like 10, 12, 15 years. Even like it's really been my entire life that I've had long hair, so it feels different. I kind of like it, and yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. All right, so today's Tuesday, and that means I have legs today, and. I'm doing something a little bit different now. I'm gonna start incorporating two days. Uh, I'm just gonna do that for this mesocycle. I wanna see what it's like, and pretty much I'm gonna have a total of 10 sessions, no, nine sessions per week. So I have a two day on Tuesday, on Thursday, and on Saturday. So basically, I'll explain a lot more about why I'm doing two days, probably in the workout. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover for today's video, and I'll probably do like a before and after of me doing two days to see if it actually makes a big difference. So yeah, overall, really, really excited to do this. But anyways, back to today. We have a leg session, which is actually an AM session today, and then later in the day, I actually just have like arms and lateral delts and stuff like that. So this morning I have hack squats, seated hamstring curls, and barbell lunges. So overall, this is definitely one of the earliest times I'm ever going to be going training legs. It's only like 9.30 right now, and I'm probably going to leave in about 15 minutes. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's go take some caffeine, get in the zone, and let's go have a wonderful morning leg session. And guys, Logan here was going to come with me according to his plan last night, but due to unforeseen circumstances, he has decided that he's going to wait until, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe 6, 7 p.m. 6, 7 p.m. Do his workout. After my class is over. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm doing a boys horror for today's AM leg session as you can tell and I'm doing uh, hack squat as my first exercise is what I have programmed for the entire mesocycle. Last mesocycle I also had some hack squats in there but that was following deadlifts and stiff legged deadlifts which was a horrible idea. I don't recommend any of you to do that because I was just getting way too fatigued and I probably wasn't getting a lot of uh, effective workload out of doing uh, the hack squat which Actually, so hack squat is something that I've been introducing recently, which I've really never done in the past because I've almost never had access to a hack squat. My gym at home at the YMCA, they do not have a hack squat. They only have a leg press, which is not that great. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I've been able to use hack squats and I've been really, really liking it so far. And if any of you guys have been doing squats for a long time and are looking for some resensitization benefits, which I definitely do recommend, you know, an exercise gets stale after a while for muscle growth and also strength progression. So if you guys are basically just looking up to switch up for programming, I highly recommend doing this exercise if you have access to one. Um, but I also do want to talk about why I'm starting to do two a days. So uh, two days are pretty much, well, I'm doing a total of nine sessions per week. So that's a two day on uh, three of my days. So on my first pull day, no, my first leg day, my second pull day, and my second pull day. Yeah, I think I got that right. But I'm doing two days just to basically get a little bit more volume in on the body parts that I want to get more volume in. So on my first leg day, I have a PM session that day, which I'm just doing a little bit more arms after um, for my PM session. And I so far, I've been liking it a lot. It's obviously a little bit more of a time commitment because I go to the gym a little bit more, but I don't spend as much time there. So it's, it's de definitely an interesting way of training and I'm definitely excited to see how much progress I make on it and if it actually helps me to any extent, which I will, of course, tell you guys at the end of this mesocycle as I'm just trying it for this first mesocycle. And if I really, really like it, then I'll probably continue doing it for uh, the mesocycles to come. And also, one thing that it's really, really nice for is just getting more volume in uh, especially on the muscle groups that you want to bring up more. It just basically lets you like come in more fresh for that specific exercises and everything you have planned for the PM sessions. So for example, if you're doing chest or something and you have barbell bench and you feel super fatigued and your triceps just feel super weak afterwards, it might be beneficial for you to come in for a PM session later in the day and just do like arms and lateral delts, maybe some abs in there. Calves are also something I'm gonna be focusing on a lot. Right here I have uh, seated hamstring curls. This is an exercise that totally fucked me up and uh, if you guys are looking to get your hamstrings ruined and I only did two sets here, definitely check out the seated hamstring curl. But yeah, that's about it for a leg workout. On to the rest of the video. All right, so I just prepared my next meal which is gonna be my post-workout recovery meal which as you can see here is very, very carb focused. I didn't really drink all this during the workout because for some reason masks make me feel extremely nauseous. 
I don't know if anybody else has to train with masks, but personally, I really hate training with a mask, especially on leg days. On other days, it's not that bad, but on leg days, because you're huffing and puffing all the time, like, you're just breathing in all that CO2 you're breathing out that's just caught inside your mask, so... I really, really don't enjoy that, and for some reason it always makes me feel nauseous, so even drinking this, like any amount of carbs at all, just makes me feel kind of sick. So I don't like really drinking too much of that during the workout. Um, I try to drink most of it before I actually start working out so I don't feel nauseous during the workout, but other than that we have some dry fruity pebbles. For whatever reason, I enjoy having dry cereal. You guys can make fun of me all you want. Um, here I have a nice coffee with some 2% milk in it. I love coffee. That's just gonna save me for the rest of the day. I got a lab later, gonna need that for sure. And then we have a bagel here with some butter. So just like Eric Bugenhagen says, I'm gonna suck that bagel down and eat the rest of this food and hopefully feel somewhat more replenished for the rest of my day. So uh, yeah, we also have a PM session later. Very excited for that. It's a, uh, I just have pretty much biceps and forearms later. So that's really, really nice. I can look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys at some point later today. All right guys, so it's a bit later right now. I'm just about to have lunch in about like 20 to 30 minutes, but first I have to uh, get ready for my lab today. I have a physics lab. I've been taking physics this semester. Overall, I've really not been enjoying it at all because how the, actual curriculum is run is really horrible. We like barely actually have a class for physics. So I pretty much have to like self teach myself, which is really, really difficult. But the lab is a complete joke. And I just got a bunch of grades back from my first few labs that I did this semester. And we're looking real solid. So I got home not too long ago, just showered and basically got ready for a very productive day this afternoon. I have to do a ton of homework. I have a physiology test on Friday, which is the second one I have. So I have to do a ton of studying for that today. So the video probably won't be much longer than this, but I'm about to have my lunch, which is currently the microwave. A little bit of a different lunch today, just because uh, we don't really have a ton of chicken. So it's kind of like a big mix of a bunch of different things. Also, if you guys are wondering what this up here is, so up there you can see there's a TV remote and also Corbin's sticker for the door. Corbin left college. Uh, he's actually going to be going into line school very, very soon. He applied, I think a couple days ago, but college just wasn't something for him, so he is no longer gonna be in my vlogs unless he's here on the weekends or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very big shame, but it is right for him and he is definitely gonna have a great, great life, you know, being a lineman and stuff. Here it is, this is the weird conglomeration of different foods. We have chicken, we have ground turkey, we have rice sides and also some white rice. So yeah, that's my meal for right now. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always. I hope I maybe put a little bit more informational stuff in here as I did a voiceover this time. But yeah, anyways, have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.